In this video we will study about cartridge filter for seawater reverse osmosis plant. Cartridge filter are fine microfilters made of thin plastic fibers, typically polypropylene, which are wound around a central tube to form standard size cartridges. Cartridges are rated for removal of particle sizes of 1, 2, 5, 10, and 25 micron, with the most frequently used size being 5 micron for seawater row. The main function of cartridge filters is to protect the downstream RO membranes from damage. For seawater row, the feed water from dual media filter is passed to cartridge filters. Cartridge filters traps the particle sizes greater than 5 microns. Cartridge filters to remove suspended particulates, colloids and larger color causing organics from the feed water greatly impacts the performance and longevity of any RO equipment and specifically the high performance units. Cartridge filters are typically installed downstream of the dual media pretreatment system, if such system is used for pretreatment, to capture fine sand, particles, and silt that could be contained in the pretreated seawater following dual media filtration. In order to avoid fine particles or sand entering the membrane system cartridge filters, 5 duty plus 1 spare, are supplied. The cartridges are of double open end. DOE, spiral wound type with a nominal filtration rate of 5 micron. Water from dual media filter pretreatment unit pass to cartridge filter inlet the filtered water form cartridge filter pass to row unit the result of the filtration and to prevent from feeding hazardous raw water to the sensitive RO membranes. The SDI measurement is done by operator or process engineer before feeding water to RO unit. Cartridge filter with an absolute pore size of less than 5 m is the suggested minimum pretreatment required for every RO system. It is a safety device to protect the membranes and the high pressure pump from suspended particles. Usually, it is the last step of a pretreatment sequence. The seawater passed to inlet of the filter housing into the suspension area. Flow of suspension is from the outside of the filter cartridge to the inside. The solids in the suspension are retained either on the surface of the filter cartridge, surface filtration, or in the inner filter cartridge matrix. The purity of the filtrate is determined by the choice of the filter cartridges, micron rating, type of filter media. 0.5 micron fighter are used in seawater RO. Cartridge filter station. The cartridge filter station consists mainly of the following equipment. Cartridge filter vessels, 198 filter cartridges per vessel, polypropylene PP wound 5 micron, butterfly isolation valves at filter inlet and outlet, drain and vent valves, one spare cartridge in transparent housing to observe performance. Cartridge filters should be inspected regularly during use to determine the extent of fouling of the filter. Filters should be replaced when the differential pressure across them reaches 5 psi or 2 weeks, whichever comes first. At worst, filters operating with relatively clean feed water, such as RO, permeate or well water low in iron, should be replaced at least once per month to minimize biofouling risks. Inspection of filters can yield useful information into the nature of foulants that may be on the RO membranes. Scrapings of the material trapped by the filter can be analyzed for elemental content. HE results of this analysis can directly lead to upgrades of the pretreatment system. Five numbers cartridge filters are on duty and one number in standby. In case that one filter is taken out of service for cartridge replacement and or maintenance, 
the standby filter is put in operation. Downstream of the cartridge filters there are dosing points for dechlorination by means of sodium metabisulfite, SMB, and scale control by means of antiscalant, ASC. All required measurements for raw water quality are located after filters pH, ORP conductivity, SDI. The dump valve is opened and the filtered water is drained until the feed water quality reaches within the limits. Cartridge filter color, odor, and appearance along with track record of replacement challenged high concentrations of manganese or iron in the intake water. If a manganese content in ferric coagulant exceeds certain threshold, this manganese tends to precipitate on the cartridge filters downstream of the plant pretreatment facilities and ultimately on the RO membranes. As a result, the useful life of a cartridge filters is often shortened from a normal duration. Overdosing of coagulants and their inadequate mixing with the source water are some of the most frequent causes for RO membrane particulate and colloidal fouling. When overdosed, coagulant accumulates in the downstream pretreatment facilities and can cause fast rate fouling of the cartridge filters following the pretreatment step and colloidal iron fouling of the RO membranes. The effect of overdosing of a coagulant iron salt on the silt density index SDI level can be recognized by visual. Inspecting the SDI test filter paper during testing, in such a situation, a significant improvement of source water SDI can be attained by reducing coagulant feed dosage or, in the case of poor mixing, modifying the coagulant mixing system to eliminate the content of unreacted chemical in the filtered seawater fed to the RO membrane system. Cartridge filters with dark brown or black discoloration as a result of the use of poor quality ferric chloride, the common approach to identify whether the ferric chloride used for coagulation is of inadequate quality is to observe the color of the cartridge filters downstream of the pretreatment. RO membrane oxidation is caused by the spontaneous generation of permanganate in the Concentrate from the magnesium in the ferric chloride as concentrate salinity increases along the length row. Membrane 